Steve Poltz is here with us. Hi, Steve. Do you watch Fox Rocks? What do you like about it? No, I don't watch it. I live in a trailer park and we don't have cable. Right now I'm in Austin, Texas, living on the floor of a recording studio, mm -hmm. sleeping next to very expensive microphones and vintage amps. Mostly high-end Radio Shack stuff. But if I did have cable, I would watch Fox Rocks. Mm. I've seen it before and it always brings tears to my eyes. It's usually because I'm cutting onions, but at least for once I'm feeling something and crying. <laughs> Steve, how is Fox Rocks different from other music and or entertainment channels and shows? They allow nudity in handguns. Plus, they're usually so strung out they let you push all the fancy buttons and make your own little TV show. Mm -hmm. Well, they play Dungeons and Dragons and other little games. Can I ask you, what do you think Fox Rocks does for the local music scene and community? Huh... Fox Rocks helps kids earn money. You see, the kids just want to rock. <clears throat> but how the heck can they rock if the peeps don't come to the gigs? How are the peeps going to know what's good if they haven't even heard it? Fox Rocks brings a message to the community like warm porridge and a spoon on a cold North Dakota winter's day. Plus, Fox Rocks rhymes with chicken pox. K kinda. So they're also reminding people to get their shots. I mean, what else can they do? Save the whole freaking world? Come on. Really, right? Steve, I think the viewers want to know if and when you hear people talking about the show, what type of stuff is said? Typically, what type of people are they? And where are you when you hear it? Steve? Most of the stuff I hear people say about the show is in haiku. They are highly educated geeky folk that say haiku stuff like Fox Rocks is neato. Neato rhymes with burrito. Man, I am hungry. Or, TV keeps me sane. I love to watch it all day. Fox Rocks, please be on. That's not... Or, Fox Rocks makes me loose. I wish I wasn't a slut. Maybe God can help. Or, oh, does Troy stuff his pants? His bulge sure looks gigantic. Why aren't I Will Hunt? Stuff like that. <clears throat> well, <laughs> moving on. Do you have a favorite segment of the show? Do you? Come on, do you? Huh, do I have a favorite part? My favorite part of the show is when it ends. I'm always psyched to go rob a liquor store for some whiskey and lottery tickets. Steve, in closing, what do you think of Troy Johnson? What do you think of Troy's hair, Steve? Troy Johnson has nice hair. I often wonder how he does it. Messy but distinguished. Kind of like, hi, I just had my way with myself in the dressing room of Fox Rock Studios with a new issue of Hustler and a bottle of lotion. But here I am to talk to you about new music. What's that in my hair, you say? Let's just call it gel. And finally, Steve, what do you think of Patrick? See, she, he. I think Patrick is the glue See. that holds the show together. She. I once saw him shoot a rattlesnake between the eyes with a pellet gun in the middle of the desert. <laughs> I pen. also visited him in jail every week for a year when he was doing time for cashing bad checks. He used to go to Hooters with Randall Duke Cunningham and mm. all the Hooters girls mm -hmm. knew them. It was like being with the mafia, only scarier. <laughs> in closing, if you were trying to get a friend to watch the show, what would you tell him about Fox Rocks? Well, I would say they were having The Bachelor on to discuss hair products with Troy. Good one. <laughs> Lastly, Steve, you want to add anything else? The Padres aren't going to win the World Series this year. This Ouch. is reverse psychology, mind you. Thank you, mm. Steve Poltz.